All right. This is our very first day of our first island, July 3rd, 2020. Although we're doing voiceover uh, two years later. Um, because at the time, we did not have a good mic. And so our actual recorded commentary is completely unlistenable. So, you know, introduced to Timmy and Tommy from Nook Inc. for our getaway package, moving to a new island. In it for the long haul. Name and birthday, we're just going to do a quick montage. We originally wanted to do We Wants the Redhead, but there wasn't enough room. So we just went with Red Wit and chose our hair color, eye color, all that kind of good stuff. Adding that picture to our virtual passport. New home. So they let you choose between Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere. And there's, they offer a few different island layouts. So we're going to get to look at deciding where we want to be as far as which hemisphere and which type of island we want. Um, so we don't want to spend too much time on that either. So we're just going to montage that as well. Where do you live now? Northern Hemisphere. We were just keeping it simple at the beginning. Now this is, keep in mind, this is at a point where we did not have any kind of knowledge really. We'd seen a couple people play it, but we didn't know any of, any of the information about any of the YouTubers or any of the players that we follow now and get tips and tricks from and stuff. So we know that the island layout we wanted, we were trying to figure out where we wanted the river mouths to be. We didn't want two south facing river mouths. So we were figuring about having one on the um, east and one on the west. And then I thought, well, maybe one on the, the west and one on the south. So we're kind of playing around with where we wanted our river mouths to be. So we chose the layout that we decided on there. Before we depart, I have just one final question for you. Now this is what threw me off when I was first playing. I was like, does that mean they're only going to give me one thing? Or whatever I whatever I decide is what they're gonna give me. I knew that the islands come with a fruit, so I didn't want to choose food. And something to kill Tom, I know there's plenty of stuff to do, so I just decided to choose a sleeping bag. How interesting. <laughs> oh that was a rhetorical question. Will fully cover all of your basic needs. Little did I know then, by fully cover, they mean they will charge me for every nickel and dime. <laughs> Service announcement. The chartered flight. Oh, yay, I'm in boarding group A. Woohoo! That's me. Here we go. Perfect timing. Let's board the plane. How much my luggage fit in the overhead compartments. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, everybody. This is your captain speaking. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nooking's deserted getaway package. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. When I was first playing, I was like, oh, are they going to do the safety features now? <laughs> but it's just the ad. So I'm just going to zoom through that a little montage cute little island and this is our first look at our own island and we see that we have oranges as our native fruit. I think in hindsight I might have chosen a slightly different layout because of where resident services is. Um, in playing lately I'm not too happy with where resident services is in, re in relation to the airport and the entrance. And we see that our starting villagers are Tammy and Teddy. So everybody starts with a big sister villager and a jock villager. So Tammy is the big sister, Teddy is the jock. So we'll just go follow Timmy and Tommy. But first I wanted to talk to my two starters before I followed them to the little orientation. Hi Tammy! It's funny because before I got the game, I had seen some other, a couple other people playing, 
and one of the people that I watched playing had a friend who absolutely hated, hated Tammy, and he would always hit her with the net and everything and talk about how horrible she was. So when I saw that I got her, I was actually a little bummed. I was like, uh. But I still have her to this day, and she's never leaving. She is our favorite favorite. She's our Tams Tams. I love her to bits. She's the best. And Teddy, Teddy is no longer on our island anymore. Um, but it was before I knew about getting villager pictures. So if we get a chance um, sometime in the future to get him on our island again, we'll probably do that just so we can get his picture. Yes, Mr. Oz, I mean, Mr. Nook, um, tell, us your <laughs> tell us your plan. Founder and president of Nook Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of the rest of your lives. <laughs> Package deal, hmm? Support us. Yes, in other words, we'll be doing all the work. <laughs> and you get to sit in your air-conditioned office drinking coffee and playing solitaire. <laughs> no, really, Tom Nook is awesome. He gets a bad rap. A simple tent, yes, let's get our tent and set up where we want to live. So we're going to montage through this as well. Um, me setting up my tent and then we get to help set up Tammy and Teddy's tent. So we have a little bit of indecisiveness when we're setting up our tent about where we want to put it. Um, we didn't know at this point that we were going to be able to get waterscaping and landscaping and pathing and all this kind of stuff. So we were kind of trying to figure out a place based on the way the land was at that time without knowing that we would be able to change the land to our liking later on. So we're just going to speed through. i just doing a bit of lollygagging before <laughs> finding my place. I knew I wanted to be near the beach, but not on the beach. Um, so kind of near the ocean, but also near the river and also near kind of near the woods. And we didn't have the ability to cross over to the other side that you see in front of you, the other side of the uh, island, across the river there. So we just plunked here, picked up a few sticks and some oranges, helping Teddy set up his. We didn't want him too close to us, but we wanted them to be able to be together, or kind of in proximity to each other. So we have him as the welcoming committee. So when guests first come, they come in from the airport. So he's our, our bouncer, as it were, since he's a big strong bear. So we set up Tammy's, and now let's go back to the plaza. Welcome back, everyone. We found just the right spots. We sure did. Sleep on it for a while. More serious business. Party! Let's party! A roaring campfire. Not just any old campfire, but a roaring campfire. Teamwork makes the dream work. Let's see. Tammy and Teddy can just do all the easy stuff, and Redwick can do all the hard labor. <laughs> Little did I know this would be a, a trend going forward from here on out. We would forever be the laborer. <laughs> Redwit, will you come to the principal's office? <laughs> yes, sir. What we'll need for the campfire. Ten tree branches. Easy peasy. Just press Y to pick it up. Orange-like items. I suspect they're real oranges. So it's funny because when you stand over something, it shows you in your little thought bubble what it is. And the first time we, we shook a tree and got stood over an orange, it said orange? Question mark? Because <laughs> until Tom Nook says it's an orange, it's not an orange, you know. Tom Nook says that's when it is. Oh, good, good. Looks like you've managed to collect up the tree branches. Oh, I got plenty. I got your tree branches. I only need the ten. <laughs> oh, we'll find plenty of good uses for the rest. Once you teach us how to craft. How to make tools and such. 
hard worker. I'm the hardest worker. Something to snack on. I already done that too. I'm a go-getter. I was evaluating the fruit. They look like oranges. They smell like oranges. They taste like oranges. They are 100% genuine oranges. Already done. Got more than six. Oh, I sure did. Well, well. I knew you were the right one for the job. That's right. I'm the world's okayest villager. <laughs> All right. Let's get this party started. Nice day to night transition. Now that is everything. Yes, yes. Let's get started. Let's get this party started. Boy, that Tanuki really knows how to light a fire. Properly welcome with a big fire. <laughs> You're not properly welcomed to your island until there's a big fire. This is the most exciting. And this has been such fun to develop over the past couple of years. We may not have the kind of numbers, but we'll just have to rise to the challenge. Oh, we rose. Deserted island. It's not really a deserted island anymore. That's right. we got to give it a name. Now, at the time, I hadn't quite decided on potpourri yet. I was thinking more of like hodgepodge or something like that, like menagerie or something like that, because I knew I was going to have different sections along the island of different themes. But then hodgepodge didn't really sound that great, so then I just decided on potpourri because that's a blend of a bunch of different stuff, so we'll just montage through that. I love what everybody else shouts out <laughs> all at the same time. Like some, Teddy, I think Teddy says Buffsburg or something like that. Yeah, Buffsburg, Roxalot, Rackland, Nookits. <laughs> what splendid variety, yes, everybody shouting all at once. Clap for the one you think, of. clap for mine, clap for mine. Clap for mine. <laughs> Redwit suggested potpourri. Everybody clap, come on, yay. <laughs> wow. Each and every one of you clapped, of course, because I'm the player. Let's just go with potpourri. Why not? It rocks! Yeah, absolutely! <laughs> Splendid! I was uh, very screenshot happy back then as well. <laughs> Taking snaps every... Uh, all the, main, mainly all the milestone events, like all the momentous occasions like all the firsts, so like every time I caught a new bug or a new fish or everything, I'd take a screenshot. And now I'm having to uh, go through all the uh, thousands of screenshots I've taken to put them into their own folders, <laughs> a word or two. I thought about being smarky, but I decided to just be like, you can count on me. Hmm, so we've settled on a name. We've selected our resident representative. Big day. Let's have a toast. Everyone have a beverage? I sure do. It's fresh juice made from oranges. Oh, that beverage. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me get that beverage. <laughs> yes, I did all the work. Potpourri and the happiness of its residents. Tears. Skull. Do, 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 do. Look at Teddy with his little tambourine. He's so cute. Unfortunately, since I had to detach the audio with my commentary, the commentary was on the same track as the game audio, so you're not getting to hear any of the game audio, which is kind of a bummer. I kind of wish that I had just recorded the game. Little did I, I didn't know that, that I could do voiceovers later on and just record the game sound um, back then so 
In hindsight, I would have just recorded the game sound so that I could do voiceover and keeping the game sound in without having to delete my commentary and the game sound. So, we'll let this campfire burn! Is that responsible, though? Talk to Tom Nook. I will. I sure will. Mr. Oh, and then I went over here. He said the exact, exact same thing. I'm not tired yet. Talk to Tom Nook. <laughs> They're both not allowed there. I guess they have non disclosure. They're not allowed to tell me what it is, even though they know. Odd ah, Redwit. I'm not ready to take a nap. So, I didn't realize that answering that at the beginning would not let you continue with the game. So I just decided to talk to him. He just says the same thing. So, so then I decided, okay, well, let's see what happens if I click this then. All right, we'll probably want this. Yeah, give me something to sleep on. I'm not going to sleep on the ground. Need a camping cot. To open the packages, press A. Another big day ahead of us. Oh boy, howdy. So much so that our first day is probably going to be split up into two or maybe even three, maybe even more than that, videos. Because I want to keep them under an hour. But we did so much our first day as far as learning stuff and catching stuff and scuba diving and just all kinds of stuff so we kind of lollygagged around for a little bit before finally going into our tent where we saw our packages waiting for us so we're just gonna montage through that because I was having a little bit of trouble placing things <laughs> trying to move the cot back but it just kept putting me in it so so now we're sleeping and dreaming and we're dreaming of KK he's telling us all about how things are gonna be once we get past this little montage um, the game actually goes in real time based on your real time based on your Nintendo switch settings so this is them kind of telling you about that yeah man friends are where it's at Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. <laughs> You're forgiven, KK. You're forgiven. Yeah, wake up, man. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave you about friends, it's pretty key. Yes. It's fun to play with friends. It's also fun to play just by yourself, just after a long day of work or something like that, just to kind of unwind. This game is really nice because there's no like boss battles or anything like that to kind of stress you out with pressing buttons all fast and everything. You can just kind of go and design and build stuff. Or if you don't want to build stuff, you can just wander around. You can do whatever you want, really. Redwit! <laughs> Are you in there? Where else am I going to be? <laughs> I want to discuss something. I'll be here when you're ready. Okay, you're just going to be standing outside my tent while I'm sleeping? <laughs> okay, I guess I'm waking up. I wanted to see what song was playing on the radio so I'd know what kind of songs I wanted to get later on when they become available to buy or to request. Um, I didn't know at that time that when you request songs from KK, you get the first one free. It's daytime. A nice uh, night to day transition. A pleasant nap. Or, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap. It's a brand new day. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I must have been tired. <laughs> Speaking of which, I have a few more things. You'll need one of these a phone! Very own Nook phone. Is it better than the iPhones? 
we will find out. Yay! And it's green too. It's working right. Could try turning it on. All right. Let's do that. Boop. Welcome. Good reception. Yeah, three bars. <laughs> Put it away now. <laughs> okay. You just told me to took it out. I was kind of hoping if I said nope, never, that they'd kind of go over more of like how to use this app. But he just says, oh, well, you just have to learn it yourself. <laughs> Suited for rustic life. I believe you'll find it. <laughs> Take the time to learn how to use it. He's not going to tell me how to use it. I just have to learn myself. One more thing for you. <laughs> Your itemized bill! <laughs> uh, nothing's free in life. Airfare, accommodations, labor tax, and the Nook phone. Yeah, so the Nook phone isn't free either. Grand total, 49,000. <laughs> Look how happy he is about it. <laughs> you owe me 50K. <laughs> I wonder why they didn't just make it an even 50k. Why did they make it 49.8? Bells? Bells, you say? Oh, ho, ho, good one! <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious? Yeah, I'm serious. You can't just throw us into things and think we're gonna know everything. I don't have any bells, yeah, so I gotta earn some bells. No need to worry. Tricky situation. Miles? The Nook Mileage Program. Nook Mileage? What's that? Simply living your life, yes. We're gonna start earning all kinds of miles. Use them to pay back your moving fees and much more. 49,800 bells or 5,000 miles. So we can start earning miles. Okay, so we're gonna pay in miles. Just open the Nook Miles app. Earn some miles just from traveling here. All right, you go do you. A client of Nook Inc. My life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! So we're going to spend just a little bit of time playing with our phones. So we'll just quickly montage through that. Taking learn in our camera app and all the filters it has. Taking cute pictures. Redeeming some of our miles. Looking at our custom designs. Looking at our map. Fixing our passport. Putting a little phrase in there. He wants the redhead. City folk camper giving us a little title. Claiming some more miles for doing that. Earning some other miles, looking at the other apps. We didn't want to use the rescue service because they charge you miles for that. So since we've just earned some, we didn't want to just go ahead and spend them. So I've got something in my mailbox. And I've got some little inventory spaces here. I already collected some seashells from when we were running around earlier. So I want to see what's in my mailbox. Just double check all my little apps here. Oh, I was taking another picture because I wanted to get a picture of my mailbox with something in it. Yay! And that also gave me... Did it give me some Nook Miles? No, I was doing that for the for the mail. So I got two things from Nintendo in my mailbox. Congratulations on your big move. A 
present that's sure to come in handy. Nintendo! I see that butterfly flying around, but I have no means to catch anything yet. And another thing from Nintendo. Thank you for downloading the update. Here's another present. All right. Go into our tent and unwrap these and put these out. We moved our cot in the middle. We should probably have moved it to the side so that we'd have more room in our tent. We've got some clams, some sand dollars, seashells by the seashore. DIY workbench, we're going to need that. A snorkel mask. So just a few days before I started playing, they had just done a summer update where they introduced scuba diving into the game. That didn't previously exist in any of the, the games, as far as I know. So we were given, that was the gift we got for doing the update so that we could go swimming. Because the game came out in March of 2020 and this is July 3rd of 2020. So I'm just gonna do some wandering around, talk to my neighbors. Yo, Red Wit! Thanks for the hand, of course! If you ever need anything, don't be shy, you heard? I love her catchphrases, you heard. Oh yeah! So she's giving me a recipe for a leaf umbrella. Now that's a lot of weeds, yeah. <laughs> that's where I got the idea. Ask Tom Nook to help you out. We will do that. He's doing DIY demos. Sweet! Thank you, thank you. So we're just going to run around some more. Do a little bit of exploring. This is her tent. And then here's Teddy's tent. We were going to talk to Teddy, but he's not in there. So he's probably we're just wandering around somewhere. And he's fishing. Check me out. I'm going to catch the biggest, baddest fish on the plant, on the island. Groof. I love his catchphrase too. Groof. It's like a sound a bear makes. Like, groof. Island togetherness. You get miles for talking to all your neighbors every day. So it's so easy to start racking up some miles just by doing all kinds of different things. We're already at 1400 and we've only been playing maybe like half an hour at this point. So we have 5,000 to reach to pay off our house. So here's either Timmy or Tommy with their little pennant. It's so cute to have see them holding that little pennant. That campfire was a lot of fun, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Check it in with everybody. There's resident services. Campfire still going. It's a huge campfire. And there's Tom Nook and Timmy. Ah, oh, Redwood. Welcome, welcome. As you can see, it's quite cozy in here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable, hmm? <laughs> Ain't that the truth? how to spend your time on this island or anything else. Basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. Earn some bells. We can sell them anything. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite...
Yes, we need to learn. Quite useful, yes. Let's do that now. I'm all up in his face. About that workshop. Yes, yes. Keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. Yes, teach me. Teach me, teach me. I need tools. Yes. What does DIY mean? Let's get started. So I have fast montage through this. He's teaching us how to make a fishing rod. We, are, we realized we already had the materials so we didn't have to go out and get them. So we made our fishing rod. And he says how, he tells us how to fish. So then we decided to make a net because he gives us some more recipes. So let's talk to this little guy here. You don't waste any time, do you? No, we don't. We get crack a lacking. Fresh stock. Let's take a look at what you're selling. Yes. Even though we don't have any money. Sofa and a hammock. No, we don't have any money. Anything catch your eye? Well, no, we don't have any money. Buy things from me. Beautify the island. We'll even pay you for trash and weeds. <laughs> Just ask. Sweet. All right. So what's in here? What's in the box? Yes, you didn't tell us about this box here. Items removed during construction and such. So it's a finder's keeper's box. Cardboard box. So we took it even though we don't have very much space in our inventory at this point because we've just started. So I guess tell us about this terminal as well. It's our nook stop. Two services. So that kind of limits you in the beginning but then it opens up to all kinds of extra stuff later on. So it's kind of like your ATM and also your uh, shopping and services kind of portal. And you get extra miles for accessing ac accessing, excuse me, it every day. Nook shopping or A B D. So more stuff that I can't afford because I don't have any money, but lots of cool stuff. Fans and faucets and clothes. Music. So I didn't realize at this point in playing the game that both when I talked to Timmy over there and he showed us what he is, he's selling at the moment, you can also click your right button to see some more options like wallpapers and stuff. Um, I didn't realize that you can also do that with this nook shopping in this terminal because there was some seasonal items that were available that I never even knew about until months later. So, like I said, I didn't have any of the uh, benefit of any of the resources that I follow now as far as the players go and the tips and tricks and ins and outs of the game. So we're, we're investigating our bulletin board here. Island residents will use the bulletin board to communicate with each other. Use this board to post notices. So let's make a little post create a little fun little post here just for grins and giggles <laughs> and let's see we'll just do a happy face put on a happy face we need the eyeballs we need another eye <laughs> it's kind of crooked, <laughs> but since we're just doing our initial initial one and just getting used to the 
Just getting used to the play of the, the controls and stuff. And cute little happy face there. And we still have that to this day. We haven't deleted it. And we got some Nook Miles for that. So we're even closer to our 5,000. Although we're still a ways away, but... Get Miles. Picture this, getting Nook Miles from a bulletin board. Yay! So, getting that, there's nothing else that we can redeem for at this point, so we just need to get out there and do some, do some stuff. So we'll just do some investigating around. We've got, I see some butterflies around. There's my map, let's pick some weeds because we'll be able to sell some of these to uh, Timmy, start getting some money so we can buy some of that stuff in Nook Shopping. So let's do some fishing first. So we'll get our flimsy fishing rod out. And let's look for some fish. So we'll just montage through that really quick because we were running around. We talked to Tammy some more. There's our fish. Our first fish is a sea bass. And we were so excited because we didn't realize at that point that those were the pigeons of the sea and they would soon become the bane of our existence. <laughs> Good old sea bass. So then I saw both these bugs at the same time. I saw the green drone beetle and I saw the bug in the water. So I went for the bug in the water first. I didn't quite get my placing down at first. There we go. So the first bug I ever caught was a pond skater. Pond Ollie. <laughs> the puns. I can't. The puns. So then I saw that green beetle over there and it was shiny and green and pretty. So I wanted it. I was trying to get it. And swing and a miss. Oh, strike one. So I needed to do some practicing with my spacing and being able to catch bugs and stuff. So then I was just looking for more bugs to catch. Caught a saw stag. Realized I needed to learn the recipes to free up some space in my pockets. Pick up some shells. Scared some more bugs. Caught that one. Caught that one cut another one of those so I got a duplicate of that now I can sell it I was looking for one of those grasshoppers in the grass there and then I got the butterfly my pockets were full though so I needed to swap it with something because I wasn't about to let this butterfly go because I'd never caught one before so I decided to drop the weeds because I can always pick those back up again because those were very common. <laughs> As you can see, all over the island, there's tons of weeds. Um, so my pockets are full, so I need to get rid of some of this stuff in my pockets. So let's head in. So I can sell my duplicate beetle, my earth boring dung beetle. Let's see how many bells I can get for that and actually start getting some bells. Of course, what are you offering? I am offering exactly my duplicate beetle. Thank you very much. Confirm. An earth boring dung beetle. 300 bells. Sure. At that point, I was like, yes. <laughs> Money. <laughs> now I'm like 300. Psh, is that all you got? I got like 60 million in my bank right now. <laughs> It's funny how uh, when we're first starting out, everything's a big deal. So I need to start getting some of these other stuff out of my pockets to give to Tom Nook. 
because he had said he was interested in some of the fauna, the flora and fauna that was around. So, earning some more miles for selling my beetle. So let's talk to Mr. Tom Nook here. Mr. Oz himself in the Emerald City. <laughs> I would like to talk to you about, I found a creature. I found many creatures. <laughs> Take them off my hands. Now this early in the game you're not allowed to bulk select like you can later on in the game so we had to do one at a time. So the first thing I give is the common blue bottle. Hmm. If this island can support that, who knows what else is on here? Yeah. I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum. Yes. Call him up. Call him up. Get him here. Yes, take care of my butterfly. That reminds me. He's going to give me some more stuff. Oh yes, we're getting the uh, Critterpedia because we go donated our first creature, so now we need to be able to track what we catch. So this is our guide to what we still have left to catch versus what we've caught already. Critterpedia. Quite handy. So let's go ahead and give him the rest of our stuff. We're just going to quickly uh, montage through the rest of it as far as handing him all the rest of the stuff in our pockets. We have to do one at a time. So then he gives us some flowers in the meantime, asking us if we're using the DIY bench. You sat there and watched me make stuff, so I don't know why you're asking. <laughs> Give me some flowers, talk about planting, talk about watering them, give me some more recipes for a watering can. Let's see what all I've caught in here. My Critterpedia, looking at the ugly bug pictures. <laughs> all right, so we're back out here. Let's see what else we can find around here. He gave us lots of more recipes, so he gave us uh, axe, a watering can, some fire and campfire and tiki torches, a birdhouse. We already had the fishing rod and the net from before, but all this other stuff is new. So we're growing in leaps and bounds already on our first uh, first hour of playing. He's already calling up the museum curator. So we're just grinding, grinding, grinding. Oh, I scared a bug away. So I decided to shake the tree and see my first wasp. <laughs> but luckily I had my net out, thank God. Otherwise I would have gotten stung. Yes! I caught a wasp! That's got a sting. Yuck, yuck, yuck. So then I decide to go around shaking all the trees, get some more tree branches, because I realize I'm going to need lots of those to make lots of nets and fishing rods and stuff. So I'm getting all the tree branches. Tree branches. Seeing a bug. Gonna catch the bug. But I scared it away. Ah, oh, swing and a miss. That's strike two. Wah, wah, wah. So I'm like, fine, I'm just gonna sh shake some more trees then. <laughs> I didn't want to catch that bug anyway. And I scared away another bug. <laughs> So now I'm just looking for some more bugs to catch. Oh, <laughs> the, the button to enter a building is the exact same as the button to use your net. So you'll see a lot of times in all the upcoming videos, try to enter a building and you hit it with the net or you hit it with the shovel or something. <laughs> so we're going to craft something. We do need to make 
some of this stuff but we need some wood first in order to get wood we need to chop on trees so we need to make our axe so we're gonna need to we needed to see we were checking what kind of woods we were gonna need for the various things that we wanted to build so we're gonna have to build the axe because we need some wood to build anything else that we want to build so now we're gonna build our axe so the first thing we ever built was the fishing rod, then the net, and then the axe. All done for now. So now we can start chopping some trees to get some wood to make some of this other stuff, like the workbench and the fire pit and all that kind of stuff. But for right now we're getting close to an hour in this video so we're gonna have to resume with a part two we've caught in lots of bugs and we caught a few fish got lots of tree branches we talked to all our neighbors we set up all our tents we had a party so we'll just have to see what we can get up to in the next episode Look how cute we are. <laughs> All right, we'll catch up with you in the next episode.